and it, it's it's very important uh, to yeah to 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 have everything connected, and and in and and that's the way that I, I think that's the way a film should go. So you know everything is under control, and when you arrive to the set, you can get exactly what you're willing to have. I don't know if that's correct, but yeah, what do you want to have, no? Thank you. Okay, now in keeping with tradition, we'll pass the microphone this way. Um, I would, I'd love to hear more about um, the involvement of the makeup crew. And he said that you guys were involved pretty much from the start as well. Is that true? And, uh, and I also, I'm also curious, is it, is it your department that's responsible for, the, for one of the most haunting images I've seen in film, and that's stitching up his face? Um, and maybe talk a little about what, it's, what went into that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, uh, first, sorry for my English. Uh, uh, this is even worse than being there on, on the Oscar ceremony and being in front of Jack Nicholson and Leo DiCaprio and all this. This is even worse for that. Uh, well, uh, um, which one was the question? <laughs> tell, tell us about how your involvement with the film began and, and at what point you become involved and, and how, how you work. Well, uh, as usual with Guillermo, we start to talk in a restaurant. It's uh, <laughs> a very common thing with, with him to, ah, oh, let's go to for lunch and I tell you some story. And uh, I remember it was in London when we uh, just finish uh, with Hellboy, he started to talk about two, sto two different stories. Uh, uh, both were like uh, amazing, but he finally took like things from one and things from the other one, and he finally did the Pan's Labyrinth that, uh, that constantly changed because Guillermo is like, uh, I mean, to, uh, being Mexican, you, that, that you can think uh, Mexican is uh, somebody that is uh, always sleeping uh, or something. It's the Spanish the siesta, so it's like, uh, you can understand. Um, and he's like, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like a battery and it's always full. I mean, it's a, it's like a blender machine. It's a, it's, a, it's squeezing us, and it's a, <laughs> like I don't know. It's a, a big, powerful mass of, uh, of <laughs> fantasy, joy, enthusiasm, and uh, I don't know, and, uh, and friendship. Uh, but well, we start thinking about pan like a, like a little uh, like a little. I mean, it's, it was like a, like a, we, we have to use the, the guy that we, uh, the, the child that we use on Devil's Backbone, that was the Santi, the, the ghost with uh, all this price. And uh, suddenly, uh, well, we have, a, we have a list of, it was like six or five things. Uh, one of these was the found. And uh, finally, uh, next month was completely different. The found it was not a child; it was some, something bigger, and uh, well, and everything changed from uh, that little list to what you can see in the movie. Even there was more things uh, on the on Guillermo's list, but uh, of course, everything was not possible to do. Uh, and uh, but I think it's uh, it's uh, sometimes it's good to have like. Uh, not having all the money you want to do something because then it becomes too big or it becomes like, a, I don't know, it's like when you see, uh, at least for me, when you see a, a sequence on, uh, on the Star Wars, the, the, the six, uh, I mean the Return of the Jedi, mm -hmm. El Retorno de Jedi, <laughs> <laughs> you see 100 uh, spaceships and, he's, yeah, and you are on the, on the screen it's like wow and now you can see like 5,000 millions of, of uh, spaceships and it's like okay another, uh, another video game so uh, for, for us was like uh, um, it's difficult to deal with Guillermo because Guillermo wants uh, everything but sometimes it's like uh, uh, you have to 
saying, oh, okay, uh, you know, we can do the, this, this, and this. And he's very, like, uh, in that case, it's, it's like very, it's like your big brother. I mean, if you ask him for a favor to say, <coughs> Uh, we cannot do everything you want because if not something will lose quality on the movie. He's like, uh, okay, so let's do only what we can do, and what we can, what we have to do, it have to be perfect on the movie. Uh, so, and I'm going and going and going. And I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what you said, the, the teaching, uh, the sewing from the uh, Vidal, from Vidal. Uh, I think uh, she can talk about it. Uh, I know you don't want to talk. You should. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she did the makeup on him, so she she's the better. Well, I'm um, sorry for my English. Also, it's very bad. <laughs> um, well, to make the the cut of the Vidal, we use a little prosthetic like this, and then we paint in uh, blue inside, so then uh, CG can remove it. Uh, and then the actor have to has to stitch really in very near to his real skin, so I was really scared <laughs> because he was inside the, his character, and he wasn't thinking in his real skin. So I thought that <laughs> he was stitching uh, himself, but he didn't scream, so <laughs> it was good. And also, uh, I was very scary because uh, he pulled a lot, <laughs> uh, so it, it was good. But I thought that the prosthetic, mm, <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, will come up. And I don't know. I feel, <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> more explain about this because it's just um, a little thing in, in the movie. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, but that thing was one of the Guillermo things that he he likes to play a lot with the um, with, with everything but with the makeup he, he because he's coming from the makeup field I mean he did the course from Dick Smith he have a, 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 a company called Necropia and I think uh, well he, he he will maybe kill me to say that but uh, but he have uh, one uh, one sentence on, on the on his workshop that he was uh, it, they, they were based in Mexico and they, they have a sentence on the door that uh, was saying something like, we are not good, but we are the only one. <laughs> <laughs> he was not uh, the, the best student from Dick Smith, but he, he, he did some amazing things on some, some very cheap, cheap budget movies. And, um, and it's one of the things that Guillermo likes a lot to play with uh, makeup and CGI, uh, I mean, for, this uh, this effect was the one of the little things that he he did on the movie. I mean, uh, that idea comes from Guillermo. I mean, to have the prosthetic and then the people from CGI uh, can remove the skin from the real skin from the actor and put some some uh, teeth and something on the background that you can well you can see that it is very deep. So. The actor is sewing his uh, the prosthetic, and you can see the inside that it's uh, completely CGI. That's great, thank you.